Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Rise and Shine Ministries with Cindy. You know, there is nothing more powerful than our mind. The battle is always won first in your mind. The battle is always won strategically on a tabletop with generals, strategy, plotting out the battle. That's where the battle's won first. And we're no different. The battlefield is always in our mind. And when we can change what we think and how we think, the perspective of our lives, I really believe that it can change our world around. It can change your life around. You know, this, this happened throughout all of the Bible. Uh, God shows us pictures of, of what we do to ourselves and take in, in Numbers 11, 6. They've just come out of slavery. They've just come out of a, a terrible being beaten and and being in bondage and slavery. They God lets them out. We're going to the promised land and they start complaining right away. There's not enough food. There's not enough water. I don't know what's the matter. You know, they're just grumbling they're just so unhappy with everything and God gets a little upset with them because all they're doing is complaining and nothing was enough but I want you to know the scripture says that none of their clothes faded none of their shoes wore wore off their sandals were still just as new as the day they walked out of Egypt their clothes not shredded they were just in perfect condition God supernaturally supplied all of their needs and the manna that they were eating was fully intended to give them the perfection that they needed of nourishment in their body but they couldn't see that so in their mind it wasn't enough and so sometimes i think we've got well we don't it's not enough for us sometimes it's just not enough i don't have enough money i don't have enough love i don't have enough peace i don't have enough joy and we don't have enough of the things that we really really want but I want you to know that battlefield is one in your mind. When we can change the perspective of our life and start deliberately living out of the Word of God, deliberately, deliberately setting forth the pace of our life from the Word of God, how we live, how we think, what we do in life, you deliberately set forth a battle plan for success in your life or more joy in your life because we're deliberately putting God's Word before us. And that's what God is trying to show us in the Word of God. He supernaturally fed 5,000 people. He supernaturally fed and clothed and nothing wore out for the Israelites. He's supernaturally giving you joy. When we set forth one step into the battlefield of your mind and make sure that our mind will always be spoken by the word of in the word of God like when we do have a bad day and we do get depressed and we say oh my gosh what am I gonna do I'm so depressed and I've just had a couple of days like that this past weekend and so it happens to us we all fall fray of a little sorrow a little depression a little discouragement because we're human but we need to move from that spot more quickly than ever before because because we stay in there too long. We start going down the suey hole and it's hard for us to get out. So just remember that the Lord supplies all your needs through his riches and glory. Trust in the Lord. Put that word in you. Live out of the word of God instead of out of the feelings and thinking of what we do. The battlefield is in your mind let me pray for you if you haven't sometimes we're having thinking the wrong thoughts doing the wrong things saying the wrong things like i always seem to be doing in my family let's just pray oh heavenly father i just come to you and i'm asking you that i know that these thoughts lord god and that i have for myself i want to replace them with your word that says i am highly favored i want to replace them with your word that says that you love me and you'll never leave me i want to replace them lord god that says i have strength and encouragement and i want them everything lord god that you give me to be in my heart my mind and in my spirit to live out of i thank you lord god that you are a mighty god and that you pull me up you lift me up you set me high on a rock where i can see and think in the wisdom and hear your voice for my life i thank you lord god i am willing and i open up my heart to you and your word for my life 
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Go out and make it a great rise and shine day in Jesus. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.